Good morning friends. In this video, once we're done with the beach, we will be repainting uh, an old drawing I did a few years back. And by we, I mean me. Um, so if you like the sound of that, just, um, you know, buckle in and let's go. I asked for some help on Instagram to make uh, help me choose which one of these two old drawings I should repaint. And uh, I have to admit, Lady won by four votes, but turns out I really wanted to paint the bird. So we're going to paint the bird and then we'll paint the lady again uh, next month. How about that? In my defense, I needed help to decide which one I wanted to paint and the votes really helped because once Lady started winning, I got really disappointed because, I mean, the Lady's great and we will paint her, but the bird? I mean, look at this guy. Look at him. I will list all the materials I'm using down in the description, except maybe for um, this cheese knife. It's knife for cheese, but it works really well here, so that's what I'm using. So, uh, obviously, got to tape things up, and um, I don't like wasting, so sometimes I just stick things on the side of the table and then reuse them, like this. I'm frugal, what can I say? The minute I started sketching, I realized that um, it's going to take me forever. So, I traced it instead, because, well, um, I want to paint and not draw today, so um, it is a completely acceptable method um, of setting up for your painting, especially if you've already drawn the subject and you're tracing your own work. But even if you're not tracing your own work, it is a tool that artists have used for quite some time. So sure, there are instances where tracing is bad, okay? This isn't one of them. So let's tape and mask this up. One eternity later. If you want to know a little bit more about this method of painting backgrounds, I'll link a video in the description and somewhere in a corner here. Now this instance is a great example of when backgrounds just don't go according to plan. Um, the idea was a bit of an abstract blue sky with um, some red flowers, because a lot of kids like some flowers. Um, and um, just around this point, or maybe even a little bit further that I realized, well, this does not look like sky and flowers, this looks like a murder scene. So um, I had to do something about it um, and started adding some green to, you know, detract from this whole blood spatter situation that was going. Um, and then I added some yellow and, um, you know, it ended up looking not so bad, but... But as you will see a bit later, it was just way too busy. But at this point, I didn't quite realize. I just thought that um, I've saved the murder scene. If you've been with this channel for longer than five minutes, you probably know that. I like peeling things. I think the main reason I do this method is so I could, you know, peel off the tape. It's satisfying. What can I say? I also decided to um, line this one because I really like the contrast um, that's created by line work in paintings like these where you've got uh, a very loose background um, and uh, not so loose subject. I enjoy it. I don't know uh, whether you do. Let me know in the comments. Also, if you're not subscribed, it would be super awesome if you did. It would really help others find my dorky videos. Let's spread the love and spread the dark. <laughs> As I'm filling in the block colors for the um, for the lorikeet, I think you already can see the problem um, that is being created by the background. And if you can't, I'm going to tell you it's it's way too busy. As bright as lorikeet is, he's completely lost in this background. So, uh, what did I do? Well, first I finished this branch because, again, contrast. I love me some contrast. And then I picked up some water and went to town on the background and basically just wiped it off. I have been told I'm brave on occasion, but also, to all my beginner artist friends, please don't be scared to mess up or change direction. 
Look, look at it as testing your limits, your limits, your materials limits. Um, look, look at this mess. Was I frustrated? Yes, of course. But did that stop me? No, it never could. Pep talk done. I'll be quiet for a minute. best part of any painting. The balance of the painting kind of changes once you remove the tape because it's so dark so um, I added a little few last minute touches and um, we're done. Thank you very much for watching, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you next week. Goodbye!